Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, 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 welcome. You have found your way to Jen's Makeup Sanctuary, the place that it is safe to be yourself. I myself am Jen Dart. I am a unique blue status presenter, and baby, we are pushing for green. We are going to go for it this month. Oh, I'm so excited to be green. I am the business owner of Jen's Makeup Sanctuary and the team leader of the Empowered Lash Beauties. Woot, woot. I love my girls so much, and I am sorry that I sound like a dysfunctional smurf. I still have a sinus infection, so bear with me while I'm, like, all snotty and... <laughs> So I sound a little weird today. <laughs> I can't help it, guys. But we're going to start this day off with some coffee. Cheers. Hi. <laughs> oh, that coffee's hot. Hot. Oh, but it's delightful. Oh. Hello, everybody. Hello, Vanessa. Hi, Linda. Hello, hello. Welcome all for, thank you for being here. I super appreciate you. Hi. And I do apologize for everything that's happening up here, but we are still going to boss babe this out because that is what we do. Sickness won't get us down. We are amazing, resilient creatures that are going to make our lives happen no matter what life throws at us, sinus fiction or not. <laughs> How are you this morning, Linda? Because, I mean, if all I have to complain about is a little bit of a sinus infection, then my life is pretty darn good. <laughs> good morning, Darlene. How are you, beautiful? Good to see you this morning. Oh. Oh. And I'm just trying to breathe. <laughs> We're going to have our Bob Ross moment in, in just a second. Let me get this primer rubbed in because it is a crime not to prime. And I know primer is going to make my face feel better. <laughs> and I know that I always feel a little bit more glorious when I have some makeup on. <laughs> And today we're going to do kind of a little bit of a dark look because I'm kind of feeling a little like a little darkness, <laughs> probably because I'm a little starky. <laughs> oh, I am glad that you are good, Linda. All right. So today we are going to use the Touch Foundation Stick. Ooh, in velour. It's my jam. We're going to do one of my new favorite blushes, which is Surreal. It's a nice, deep, dark purple. Oh, I totally will feel better. It's weird, Linda. Like, the rest of me feels great. Like, this part of me feels like I got, like, hit with a brick. <laughs> so, like, if I could take this part of my face off and, like, rinse it out... We'd be totally awesome. <laughs> the rest of me is like, yay. This part, not so yay. <laughs> Good morning, Nikki. Good morning, Christy. How are you ladies doing? All right. So we got some real for lips. We are going to do some smoldering. That is a deep, dark purple. Mm. We're going dark today, ladies. We're just going dark. Because I am in that, like, you know when sometimes you're, like, feeling a little under the weather? You're like, I'm just going to do something that's kind of, like, dark and raw. That, that's, hi, that's where I am today. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a little bit of charming in Splurge today. We're going to do a little bit of skeptical in Splurge today. And then we are going to use the bundle today, the go to green, gen to green bundle. So we're going to throw in some assertive. Mm. 
we are going to use Prosperous for liner. Oh, yeah. And today we're going to do a 4D. So epic, 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 epic in 4D. And now this is my special bundle because I am running for green. We are sneerious about it because I want to walk that stage at convention with my girls. Like not like my team below me, but my team above me. It's a big deal. It's actually a really huge deal. <laughs> Brows today are going to be Brow Obsession Palette number two. We're also going to throw on some Perfect Dip and Draw, which is black. And hold on. <coughs> Ew. <laughs> Oh, sometimes a struggle when you're sick, right? But that is okay. Hello, Hussein. How are you? And we are just going to whoop whoop with the shtick. So what are your guys' boss babe plans for this amazing Wednesday? We are going to look like we are alive and not like we are full of call center plague because <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what I've got is just the call center plague <laughs> but that happens when you work in a place that you kind of switch desks on the daily so there's just not enough Clorox wipes in the land to make a difference <laughs> and it doesn't help that uh, we turned on the air conditioner yesterday, and it, I don't think it was fully cleaned out. So I think it also has a bunch of allergens in it. So that's going to happen. And I will probably do that on my weekend. Because that, yeah, that's, ugh. But see, you put a little bit of makeup on, and you at least don't look like you're a ball of contagion. Hi. <laughs> Oh, and I love stick foundation for that, too, because it could just be like, nope, here we go, full coverage, all over the face, I don't have to worry about much. <laughs> oh, how are you, Nikki? What are you doing today? How are you boss babing this day out? I am doing some amazing things in my life. Now, I wanted to come in here also and let you guys know that because of my new schedule and because of the way things are kind of rolling in my life right now, I am not going to be doing Teach Me Tuesdays anymore. I do apologize, but Tuesday is also one of the days that I could like get out and about and run a bunch of errands and I'm never home before like almost nine o'clock and trying to rush until 9 30 is really 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 hard for me so there's not going to be any more teach my Tuesdays but Thursday tea and Freaky Friday are still on like Donkey Kong for this week and at least next week they are going to be um they're going to be at 9.30 instead of at 8 because of how I get home and, like, the whole new schedule thing. So, I want you guys to be informed. And that's 9.30 Pacific Standard Time. So, wherever you are in the world, please adjust to your time zone. <laughs> I know it's late and I know it's super late for your East Coast peoples. I do apologize. But I appreciate each and every one of you as we go through this. Now, in a couple of weeks, um, Thursday Tea and Freaky Friday are going to return till their 8 o'clock spot. But I have to, like, get on to my next, next schedule before that can happen. So I do apologize for all of these weird, like, weird schedule changes. But I am absolutely positively sure that we can all endure a couple of weeks of weirdness. 
<laughs> All right, let's get on some of the smoldering. Now, smoldering is a stain. So for those of you that are not like stain savvy, stains are lip dye. They're not like a lipstick. They make it so that you feel like you have nothing on your lips and they color your lips, okay? Please, before applying lip stain, have exfoliated lips because if you have dry spots on your lips, it's not gonna matter what stain that you use you're going to have little patchy spotches, and then you're not going to like life. You're going to be, like, thinking about all your choices. And so exfoliate your lips well before using any stains. Or have nice, smooth lips. That, that helps. <laughs> and we're going to... And I kind of look at stains like dating. So... On your first date, you just kind of like get to know, get to know the color, you know, you're not going deep. You're just kind of like skirting on the outside. No deep conversations. Just getting to know it. Getting your boundaries set. Just enjoying its company. And you let that sit in for like 5-10 seconds before going on to a second layer. Now with the second layer, you see how this has kind of gone really dark in here. Really dark in here, but not so much here. And this is a little light. And we haven't moved anywhere into the inner lip. That's super important when you're doing your layers of stain. Because your second layer is filling in all of the spots that you missed on the first date. So you're asking all of the deep questions. And really filling in those holes. See where I'm going with this? And you're still not going deep in. <laughs> for all of you that need dating advice for lips, you know. <laughs> and you just fill in. And then you, like, walk away for a little bit. Go do something else. Like, third dates come later. <laughs> I love when makeup can be an analogy for life. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Sorry. Ooh, the death is coming. <laughs> All right. And now let's grab our clean cream shadow cream shadow brush. Holy moly. And we are going to do a horizontal eye with this, but we're going to go a little subtle, okay? We're not going to go, like, super high up. We're going to keep this at a medium level because it is dark. And if we go all the way up with dark, whoo, whoo, then that becomes like a glam look. And I'm going to work, and that is not a place for glam. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can be, but not today. <laughs> so I am going to take Charming, and we are just going to go all over with some Charming. I love Charming because it is a beautiful, like, sea green like it's and I don't know if you guys can see like the amount of sparkly in it it's a sea green shimmer and I super love it now we do have a comparable color in a pressed powder but it's no longer in a splurge so if you want this color or actually close to this color, 
Let me know and we will get it for you. It's secret. <laughs> Good morning, Pam. How are you doing? Sorry, I sound so weird, guys, for those of you just coming in. <laughs> my, my sinuses are real today. <laughs> Got a little, got a little crazy with the cheese whiz right there. Luckily, it will blend out nicely. And it is almost time to pluck the eyebrows. But no matter how I feel today, we are going to have a boss babe day. Because I am going to remain positive. And I'm going to drink extra water today. I'm going to take some extra vitamin C. We're going to take care of our bodies and our minds and probably do a lot of personal development today. Now, for those of you that are not sure of what personal development is, if you go to like YouTube or a podcasting service, I use Podbean, you can just look up personal development and there is a bagillion people out there. That are just trying to make your life more positive and for you to become the best version of yourself that you can be. At first it will feel like, why am I doing this? This is not working. This is just telling me everything that I already know. How is this going to help my life? I know I've been there. But let me tell you, it does help your life. So don't give up on it. Listen to some podcasts. Find somebody that really, like, speaks to you. I myself, I love me some Gary Vaynerchuk because when he speaks to me, he yells at me. <laughs> I, I know that. <laughs> that may sound weird, but I'm sometimes a person that needs a little bit of a stronger voice of reason. Um, Les Brown is great for people of faith. He was a preacher for quite a few years, so if you are a woman of faith... Les Brown is probably going to be one of those that get you all stirred up. Tony Robbins, Sarah Rockin' Robbins. There is just a ton of amazing speakers that are out there. Now, this is the assertive. This is the color that is in the Gen 2 Green bundle. We're going to take this about halfway up our eye. And then just come down in a diagonal. But we're going to leave this part of our eye just blank with that charming. Because even though this is a dark look, we don't want like the dark to take over our whole entire face. It's dark, not goth. <laughs> even though I do love a good goth look. So... But back to personal development. Personal development, what it does is it helps your brain wake up in a positive way. And as long as you keep at it, keep doing it, do the do with it, you'll find that you start to think about life a little bit differently. You don't get so upset at littler situations and you start removing some of the negativity out of your life to make the best life that you can possibly have. No matter what that looks like. <coughs> <coughs> and personal development is so, so, so important. And I even go an extra little step with my personal development. So instead of it just being... Um, for motivation and speaking about like your greatness and getting up and doing it and changing your life and being the best person. I also use it to study different parts of my field. So sometimes that's learning new makeup. Sometimes that's uh, learning new networking strategies. Sometimes that's learning about video creation and how to like edit some stuff even cooler. <laughs> yeah. 
And for the last couple of weeks, I have been, like, falling a little bit out of practice on my video editing. Because since it is a new skill, I am still working on my 10,000 hours of perfecting it. And this is our skeptical. And skeptical, we're just taken into this corner. Like I said, this is a dark look. So this is where that dark starts coming in, is just in this corner. Look at the eye. Because see, I'm wearing, I'm wearing green and I'm wearing black. So we are kind of matching, matching our outfit today. And don't worry, this will get blended. This won't look... This won't look like this in just a second. <laughs> It'll look a little different. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Patty. How are you ladies doing today? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Ooh. <laughs> oh, sorry for the sniffy sniffs. Oof. Driving me nuts. Can't wait for this head thing to go away. So weirdest thing too, cause like the rest of me feels fine. <laughs> it's just when I talk, I sound like that Ringo Star Vulture from the old old cartoons. Hey guys, like <laughs> Do you think we oughta like <laughs> Can't actually remember any of his lines from the old cartoons right now, but hi, Brittany. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. I love it how, like, I have four people in here and, like, that thing still says one in the corner. I don't understand. I think my, I think my counter broke, is broken and doesn't understand, like, when people come in, it's supposed to, like, move. <laughs> Weird. We don't even know anymore. Oh, I forgot to say, if you are new to me and you have never seen me before, do me a favor, no matter whether you're watching live or replay, give me the hashtag new to you so that I can thank you for being a part of my life because I definitely appreciate each and every one of you. And even if you're watching a replay and you have seen me before, come on in. Give me a hey girl, hey, or a hello, or an I see you, or a hashtag replay. Whichever one it is, don't be afraid to come on in and talk to me. I'm kind. I may be a giant, but don't be afraid. <laughs> see, now look at what happens when that gets blended. It's still dark, but it's dark and nice and soft. So, and it kind of just gives your eye this nice, nice shaded look. That's what I was going for today, is just something with a little bit, a little bit of sass, a little bit of pizzazz. And I'll even turn this off so that you guys can see it in natural light because on a dark look like this, natural light looks very much different than the light of joy, okay? So in natural light, as you guys can see, you can see more of the green than you do the black. Ooh, and you look a little mysterious. All right, now we're going to go back to the the light of makeup artists. And see, that's where a lot of people like think like most of us have a ton of makeup skills and everything looks like an Instagram model. It's all lighting, my friends. It's all lighting. So, don't let somebody's lighting like make you feel different about the way you're doing your makeup, okay? I know that I struggled with that a lot in the beginning. I would look at all of these makeup experts and they'd be doing all of these wild looks and their contour would look so sharp and I was like, oh my gosh, what is like, how do I get that? How do I do that? 
And I found it's all in their lighting tricks because I found a video that says why your life does not, or why your makeup never looks the same in life as it does on YouTube. <laughs> and I am super thankful for the person that did that. I wish I knew. I wish I would have written down who it was because it's so true. Like, you're not an Instagram model. And even Instagram models don't look like Instagram models when they're off of camera. So, don't let Instagram or Pinterest discourage your makeup life. <laughs> and I'm just going in with a little bit more assertive where it really like super blended out. And I lost a lot of green. So, we're just kind of replacing some of it for just a little bit more of a pizzazz right there. Oh, and see when I get this off, that's what I'm talking about, babies. Yas. Yas. Assertive for the win. All right. Let's do something with these brows. Oh, my lordy. Oh. Nope. That's, this is going to be stuck. Cool story, bro. Let's, so what is everybody planning for this weekend? Have we even, like, started to think about this weekend? I know when generally, like, Wednesday, Thursday comes around, that's when I really start planning for this weekend and being like, what am I gonna do? What is gonna be happening in my life? Now, since I have Friday, Saturday off as my weekend... It's a little bit different for me. Friday, I am going to be running around town like a mad woman. Because that is going to be mad grocery shopping day. So, I'm going to have to, like, raid the Fred Meyers and stock up my cupboards like mad. And so, you know, that also means, like, a shopping spending day. So, I will probably be online and I will probably be... Like, doing the online shopping. That <laughs> I don't know about anybody else, but I love me some online shopping. <coughs> I love the fact that we can pretty much get anything that we want, anytime we want, and not have to leave our home. That's really novel to me. <laughs> I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Can be a little dangerous though, too. <laughs> but that's why it's kind of great to be a part of network marketing. Is we get to see like all of the cool things online that support other people's businesses. And let me tell you, there are businesses out there that will pretty much do anything that you want to in your life. <laughs> I am going to have to, like, restock up on some of my makeup, though. But, luckily, we should have a box soon of some of my absolute needed products. Because, holy moly, getting to the scary spot... Of when you're running out. <laughs> I hate that spot. <laughs> and we're just kind of filling in natural brows. We're not really like reinventing the wheel with our brows today. Even though this is a dark look. I'm not doing like spiky brows. Or really taking... Any drastic steps to change what my brows look like. Even though I probably should cover up some of well, some of this upper area. I don't know what's going on up there. <laughs> my upper area, my brow right there is a uh, Looking a little crazy. There we go. That's a little better. 
And remember, soft edges on your brows. Please don't make angry brows. Your brows do not need to be angry. Take the time to blend in right here. Give it a little round edge. I know that a lot of those Instagram models have that sharp cut to the end of their brow. But life is not Instagram, my friends. And I love you. Now, I mean, if you are a hard stop brow person and you've got microbladed brows and they're like, then, you know, by all means, you live your life how you want to live your brow life. I'm not going to judge you, but I'm going to wonder why your brows are so angry. Life is a little happier for that. <laughs> All right, let's line. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a half line with the perfect yet or if I am going to do a full on line. Hi, Brittany. How are you? Welcome, 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 beautiful. We are, we may need to sharpen this pencil. Um, oh, I don't have time to look for my sharpener. We'll sharpen my pencil tonight. And it'll be nice and sharp for tomorrow. We'll just take the extra time to kind of waggle this around our eye. Give it kind of a nice dark, deep line. And if you want to be extra fancy today... And do just a little, little line underneath with your eyeliner. And then take a very thin brush and give it a pull to give your eye more of like a green smoky look. And it's just a little pull. It's not like a, you're not... You're not dragging down for miles, but you're just giving it a little bit of an extra smoky, see? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It gives it just a little bit of extra mystery. And you can go in with the splurge in assertive and do... A little line under two. I just find it really easier to do with a little bit of eyeliner. Instead of having to go and blend so much. With using a, a shadow. So I'm just going to take this and go under just a little bit. A little, little bit. Now, see, a lot of people can go like crazy sauce in here. So just try and keep this line very close to your eye when you're doing this. Like, ease up on the cheese whiz. When this is your plan of attack, you can even, if you're already pulling your eye down for your eye thing, might as well pull it down for this. So, <laughs> no, technically, you're never supposed to pull down your eye, but. I'm not judging your life. I need a little bit more for a little more of a pull. Maybe a little bit more on this side. Because like I said, this is a little darker. This is a little bit of a fancier look for the day. It's more of an out of my way boss babe look. You know what I mean? Like nothing's gonna stop ya. Like you're in control. You've got your life all together. That's what this look is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's one of my favorite colors of green. So, yeah, there's that too. <laughs> Hi, Rinda. How are you doing today, beautiful? I hope that you are having a most excellent day. Oh, that's the world. There we go. And don't forget to shake your dip and drops, people. Because not shaking your dip and draw, you are not going to be as happy with your dip and draw. 
because dip and draw can separate inside the tube and since the tube is not clear you'd never know it until you put the dip and draw on then you're like what happened to my life all right and and that actually goes with any liquid eyeliner like all liquid eyeliners need to be well shaken before used Ooh, got a little bit of the shaking McQuakes this morning. That's okay. We're gonna om, oh, 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 our eyeliner on, cause we got the shaking McQuakes. Yeah, I think I'm like in the half with the high. The high start to the liner. Yas. And see, that draws the eye very much up. And it makes people not focus on the nose of your face. <laughs> nobody needs to focus on my nose today. Yas. See, that's Snerius. That is Snerius Boss Babe looks right there. So sometimes that helps me get into the Boss Babe mode. Especially on days that I am not feeling like super amazing. Because we all have those days that we wake up and we're like, mm, I'm not super amazing today. It's because my whole entire like sinuses are in revolt. <laughs> But a little bit of makeup gives that little bit of confidence that helps propel me into a better state of mind for the day. Because I can look at myself and be like, mm-hmm, we got it together. We got this. We're looking sharp. We're looking a little sexy. We're looking a little sultry. We're looking like our life is amazing. And like we know what we're doing. <laughs> Even if we don't, we can always look like we do, right? Yes. And it doesn't take much to go from like bedtime death to amazing boss babe and we cannot forget the mascara and we're doing 4d so you know these lashes are gonna be banging i am so in love with the 4d but the wiggle and twist is so so, so important when you're going in for the 4D. Just so everybody knows. Because of the way that the bristles are on the brush. And the way that the fibers attach to your eyelashes. The wiggle gets the brush really on the lashes. And then the twist lays down the fibers. And the fibers are like little triangles. They're like little odd triangles though. They're like, they're kind of like ridgy triangles. So those fibers, when they hook onto your lashes to make them thicker and longer and more robust, really need that twist Tud here. Look at that. That's just like one coat of 40. I'm going to go through and I'm going to probably do another coat or two. Because we're going to have like super banging lashes today. 
on a day that you're not like feeling your best, do yourself a favor and give yourself some banging lashes. You will find that it's gonna be amazing for you. You're just gonna be like, yo, I may look like boo, or I may feel like boo, but I look like a billion dollars. I got some banging lashes. It's so funny because now that I've gotten used to the wiggle and roll that you do with the 4D, I tried to do that with Epic. <laughs> it kind of works, but no, it does not. It's not highly recommended. <laughs> Don't cough and try and put eye uh, mascara on at the same time either. Whew. Life hints. Just saying. <laughs> look at that. I'm so obsessed with 40. Look. look. Oh. I swear my left eye needs to be like the ultimate mascara model. My right eye is good too, but my left eye is just mascara banging. Kind of those moments that you kind of wish like your whole entire face would like even out though. Give you like banging lashes on both sides so that you didn't have to work like super harder on one side than you did the other. <laughs> All right, and I am going to go from the back with a spindle move where we are just going to roll, 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 roll. And another amazing trick that I learned is if you want even longer, stronger lashes, take a regular spoolie, whether you do it from one of these, or you have like a spare spoolie from a mascara, however you gotta do it. Spray it down with some setting spray, and then do your mascara, cause it kinda presets your lashes. And if you're like me, and these ones are trying to be friends right over here, these ones are trying to get all like up and close and roommate-ish, It'll help that from happening. Now, I did not do that this morning. I normally do it with one of my like more glamorous looks. Oh, yeah. Y'all, yes. see? No need for falsies. Absolutely. Amazing. Thick, long, you can go from the back one more time, just to really, I like going in from the back because it makes them look wider. Oh. 4D, I tell you what, it is. A mascara game changer. And you can go even like super crazy with it and do even more coats and have even longer lashes. But of course, it is work and we don't have time for that shenanigans. So I find that. Two coats does just about what I need them to do for the amazing lashes. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a giant eye on your screen. Yas. 
Everybody needs this in their lives. I'm just saying. Just saying. All right. Let's put our last coat of stain on. Now, your third coat of stain, because I know I started off telling you about the two date. This is their third date, okay? You've waited a little while. All of this is soaked in. You've, like, got all the knowledge of that date. Now, we're going to go, and we're going to go in deep. So, we're going to come over the top. And this is what's going to give you your longevity of your stain. So, you're filling in at first any spots that may have been missed. But you're also getting darker and deeper in there. And then we're going to move to the inside of the lip. So give your lip a little curl. And get to that inside. And what this will do is it will make sure that you don't have a roll line from here to here and look all weird. So... Outside, make it deep. Inside fills the job. I call that going into the Smurf hole. And there we go. Oh. Our work look is complete. We are amazing. We are boss babes. We look better, so we probably feel a little better. We are ready to face the day. Make it ours. So thank you guys very much for being here. <coughs> I ap appreciate you so very much. I hope each and every one of you have a miraculous day. Go out and be the best version of yourself that you can do be. Check out some personal development. Enhance your life. And if you have seen anything on my face that you can't wait to have on your face, you can always go to Jens, J-E-N-S, MakeupSanctuary.com. Get everything that you need there. Also, if you want to join my team and become a member of the Empowered Lash Beauties, ooh, we are so amazing. You can go to that same site, Jens, J-E-N-S, MakeupSanctuary.com, and hit the join button. Hit join now. Fill in your information. When it ask business or individual, you, my friends, are always an individual. And as always, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Know that I appreciate the beauty in each and every one of you. And until next time, bye!